Hey y'all, what is up? Scott here. Today we're going to talk about the exciting topic of backing up your video files. Backing up, maybe not the most exciting, sexy topic, but super important. Uh, if you lost all of your creative work, you would be really sad and potentially financially really impacted by that. So it's important to have a system set up for how you go about getting the files from your camera to your hard drive and safely backed up so that you have multiple copies of these files. The biggest take home message I want you guys to get from this video is have two copies of everything that you've got to make sure that if one hard drive fails, you always have a backup to refer to. So I'm shooting on a GH5. It's a dual memory card camera. And so this allows me to have all my video files go to one memory card and all my photos go to another card. Makes it really easy to know which process I'm in depending on which card I'm going to download. For the sake of the video today, we're gonna to talk about just downloading your footage, not so much downloading your photos, though the process can be relatively similar. Before I'm downloading anything, I create a project folder on my main computer's hard drive. And I've got a four terabyte internal hard drive on my editing rig. Inside there, I have a video folder. Inside the video folder are all my different projects. And so I'll start by making one named for the project I'm working on. Inside that folder, I will sometimes have subfolders if there's multiple projects for that client. Otherwise, I'll find a footage folder. And footage is where all of my master files will go. And inside here, I'll create subfolders if needed, if there were multiple cameras or multiple shoot dates, and download the appropriate footage into each folder. I'll also create an audio folder. This will hold any sort of sync audio I have, any sort of sound effects. If there's any soundtracks already chosen for the, the video, I will make sure all that ends up in there. And then occasionally I'll have a graphics folder, and this might be for logos, any sort of photos that go along with the video, all that sort of stuff. And so I'll start and I'll build all those and I'll download the files from my SD card straight into the appropriate folder inside my editing computer. And I use a program called Terracopy to do this. So this is a Windows-based solution. Uh, really neat little program, it's free to use and you can have it do all of your file copying with a checksum. And so a checksum is gonna verify that all the files that were on that SD card, every little bit of those files was copied correctly and there was no corrupted data or any miswritten files to the, to the hard drive. We make sure that we aren't gonna end up with a video file that halfway through there's a glitched frame or something like that that just doesn't look right. And so after you've done all this work of capturing everything, you wanna make sure you get it onto your computer correctly. So a really easy program to use integrates with your copying process automatically. So as you drag and drop files, it's gonna ask you, do you wanna copy this with Terracopy or do you wanna copy this with Windows Explorer? And so you hit Terracopy, it'll go through its process of, of copying the files over and doing the verification to make sure that everything copied correctly. Super simple, super great program, I love it. The description will have the, the link to uh, where you can download that file. So after I've downloaded the SD card, the next step for me is to make a copy of all those files on my secondary hard drive to make sure that I have two copies of everything. To do this, I use a program called Sync Credible. And I'm plugging in my external drive, which is a four terabyte USB drive. And as soon as that happens, Sync Credible is executed and it does a process of checking what's on my main editing rig with what's on my external hard drive. And anything that is different it will attempt to sync. So I have my syncing process set up so that anything that's changed on my main editing rig's hard drive will be duplicated onto my external USB drive. You can set up a number of different ways for this to happen, but for me, this feels the most safe that I know that my main computer holds everything as I want it to exist and the external drive is just a secondary copy of that. And then the part I really like about this program is that it gives you a preview of what it's gonna do. It'll tell you what files it needs to create that don't exist. It'll tell you any files it needs to update, and it will tell you any files that it's going to delete. And so you can look through that list, make sure it all looks good, and hit the execute button, and it completes the process. So anytime I want to do a backup, I can plug in this hard drive, and this little process will automatically execute. 
So after I've made that secondary copy of those files on the external hard drive, I go ahead and put all of my SD cards back into the different devices they came from and I format them. I like to format right after I have two copies of everything and this makes sure that those cards are ready to go. Next time I'm gonna shoot, I know they're clean and I don't have to worry about getting halfway through a shoot, realizing that half the memory card is already filled, trying to figure out how to make more space. It's just a mess for me, so I just like to take care of it right away and then I don't have to worry about it. So now I've got my files on two separate hard drives, I've got clean memory cards, and I'm ready to go about working on those files. And so now I've edited for a little bit, let's say, and I've got some project files in Premiere. Now I wanna make sure that that work is saved. And so currently in my setup, I'm plugging in that external hard drive again, and it's executing that sync credible process and making sure that all those files are matched up between the two drives. There's a piece in my setup that I'd like to see changed, and that will be a second external hard drive that's always being backed up. And so it's doing daily um, syncs of all the information on my main editing rig onto that drive. And what's currently being used as my, my secondary drive will become an offsite storage drive, which will receive weekly syncs. So one other piece of my process is I'd like to start doing yearly archives of all of my projects. And this will clear off my main editing rig and move those files onto external drives that I can just store. And so for this, I'll be buying two duplicate hard drives and I'll be backing up everything from the last year, wiping it off my main hard drive and putting it on both of those drives. One of those drives will live in my office. One of those drives will live somewhere offsite so that I know, again, if there is any sort of fire or anything that causes those drives at home to go bad, that I have a secondary copy somewhere else. And then I'll do this every year, moving all the files off my main editing rig onto these secondary drives and that will make sure that I have enough room for any new projects that I'm gonna be taking on. So the biggest take home message of this, as I already said, make sure you have two copies of everything. If you can, store one of those copies somewhere else so that it's extra safe. You really don't wanna lose any of your creative work. I've been fortunate never to lose any of my photos, any of my video, and I really don't wanna see that happen. And so as I was going through this video, I was trying to find where, where are there flaws in my process? What can I do to make my backup system more secure without totally breaking the bank for where I'm at as a business. So I'd be really interested to hear what you guys have to say. If you've got any comments on, on areas you see gaps in my backup process, that would be really great to hear. Um, otherwise, I hope this has been helpful for you. If you haven't subscribed to the channel yet and are interested in following along, hit that subscribe button down below. Um, I'd love to have you follow along on this adventure. But until next time, get out there and keep making beautiful stuff, and I'll see you soon. Peace.